I think uh, once you have a goal in mind, uh, you work towards it. Uh, my ambition was very simple. Um, obviously, I didn't expect to be where I am today, mm-hmm. uh, and I've already shared that with you. Mm-hmm. But uh, while I was going through this portal work and learning the chef work, my ambition was always to set something up mm-hmm. uh, which can take us to the next level. And in order to do that, you have to have uh, an, an absolute focus towards whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. And rather than looking around what's happening in the world and what others are doing, um, I think I have not been a very aggressive sort of thinking person. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I ha- the good thing I have is the patience, uh, which I feel is, is one of my great strengths. Mm-hmm. At the same time, a focus on whatever I'm doing rather than doing 10 things at a time, I'd rather do one thing and do it perfectly. So so while we were going through this, um, while I was going through the process of learning how to become a chef, at the same time, every night when I was coming back from work, uh, lying down on my bed, I was thinking I'm going to open my own restaurant one day. And when I open it, I'm going to be still young. I'll be 22, 23 and uh, you know if i could make it a success in few years time i can open up another restaurant another restaurant mm-hmm. and maybe maybe make a franchise out of it so these sort of things were going on in my mind but like like i said you know uh, of the fortune knows uh, what's ahead of you mm-hmm. lying for you but then i think uh, generally my thinking process was always there while i was working in the restaurant learning how to cook I was forward thinking, I was planning ahead and, and, and probably that's what has worked for us. And that was a time mm. uh, I feel which has made me more stronger because, you know, my background is not chef, mm. my family, no one is chef. And to some extent, back in the days, it was kind of a taboo industry for, for our youngsters to, to go and join into a restaurant industry. So, and, and still this is kind of a dilemma out there. You know, a lot of, I see a lot of youngsters uh, who are born and bred here do not want to join the industry. They just think it's probably too much hard work or maybe not enough money. But in reality, they don't know, you know, how much is there and what are the facts and figures. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, I, think, I think probably that was a difference for me. 